He blocks the right hook. Both men step back for just a moment. Hit him with a left jab. A lot of pre-match drama, and they will settle their score under the sun here in this outdoor venue. This is taking boxing back to its roots outside where you've got the crowd there you can hear everything you've got the breeze of the wind you've got the heat of the sun you know when you're doing this your feet are on fire Tom. they're on fire in the ring some nice exchanges from both men in this round got him with a left jab When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Nice counter shot. Both men step back for just a moment. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Good counter left hand there. He's going for the finish. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges kept the... What do we expect to see here in round two? Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any... This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. How is he still on his feet? It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Do you believe what we are seeing? Why aren't they defending? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Not a lot of defense here at all. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. <laughs> and a round that seemed like an eternity for them. And there's the bell for round three. <laughs> he blocks the hook. Both of these fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this with one punch. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight.
He misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about... The referee might want to step in here. He's got his eyes on him. He was in trouble for a while there. Looks like he's starting to get his power back. Good job trying to back out of trouble. He parries away that left hook. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that in? And there's the bell for round four. He threw the hook. Didn't land. Good punch. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. Oh, my word! Down goes RJJ! One, two, three, four, five, six! Both men step back for just a moment. Another scoring shot there. Good left hand. They score with that left hand. And he misses with that jab. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath, and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. You've heard the phrase, finding a second wind. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax because you know what you can do in the gym you can do it in a fight you've got to relax he got out of the way of that right hook the right hook misses And 
And he fails to score with that left hook. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. And he just misses with that jab. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. The bell, sometimes it could be... On to the sixth round. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to outthink him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fag and a pickpocket him. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice punch. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them nonstop. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have to quick burst, boom. In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. He just rung his bell. Can he finish the job? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. around that seemed like he and there's the bell to start round seven the bravery being shown here is just incredible the courage on display here is incredible When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. That right hook not connecting. you think the pace will slow down it picks up one of these fighters is starting to run out of gas what do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy what can they change they can change their attitude they can change their, their nervous system throw a certain amount of punches per round because otherwise if they deviate from the game plan they he's rolled the dice He's coming up aces here, but can he seal the deal?
It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. This round could go either way. And, the and finally, Jones goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What a huge momentum swing that. And there's the bell to start round eight. They score again with the left hand. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Can he? Oh my word, down goes RJJ! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you're out. Not many people would have predicted it. But we've got a knockout victory. Well, there's no argument right there. Nah, you say it. Night, night.